Hi, welcome to Mark's English Academy, the place to learn English fast. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to talk about death. Here are some different ways we can talk about death. So the most common word we can use is the word die. He died. But that's not the most respectful word to use. If you know someone who's died, you probably want to be very respectful to that person. So the best thing you can say is passed away. He passed away. So if you know someone who's died, just remember to say, I'm really sorry to hear that your grandpa passed away. That's all you need to say. Don't try to say any of these things. Just remember the sentence, I'm really sorry to hear that your mother passed away. Or I'm really sorry to hear that your sister passed away. Uh, another way we can talk about death is by saying he's in a better place now. For people who are religious and believe in heaven, uh, you'll hear this quite a bit. He's in a better place now, especially if the person was in pain before they died. Uh, you would say he's in a better place now. That's, those are words of comfort for the person who is left behind. Another way we can talk about it is, he lost his life. Usually we use this when the person who's died is young. Uh, so we could say, it's really unfortunate that he lost his life at such a young age. Or, it's too bad that he lost his life to cancer before seeing his grandchild born. Another thing we could say is, he breathed his last. Uh, so, we would use that if a person has died recently. So, I could say, my grandpa breathed his last at 7 p.m. last night. So, those are all very formal, respectful ways to talk about death. These ones in red, they're very informal, and if you use them in a formal situation, they would be quite disrespectful. So, try not to make that mistake. But these are some funny idioms that you hear quite often about death. So, the first one, he's six feet under. That means that a person has been, has died and has been buried. Uh, usually, when people get buried, they are six feet under the ground. Another one is, he's pushing up daisies. So, daisies are a very common flower. And to be pushing up daisies means that you're under the ground and you're pushing up the flowers. He bit the dust. I don't even know what that means, but it means he died. He kicked the bucket. I don't know who comes up with these idioms. Uh, I don't know why it has bucket, but yeah, he kicked the bucket. That means to die. And also, he bought the farm. I think this one's really funny because if you want to live on a farm, you have to buy a farm because that's where you're going to live. It doesn't mean you're going to die. Uh, it just means you're going to buy the farm. But actually, this phrase, he bought the farm, can also mean that he died. Another way we can talk about it is, he croaked. To croak means he died. 
Also, the word croak means the sound a frog makes. So I don't know who came up with that. Now, if a person kills himself, then it's called committing suicide. So he committed suicide. Another way to say that is he took his own life. Okay, so those are some ways we can talk about death. Now, here are some really common words that you will hear a lot uh, if you know someone who's died. So the first one is bury. To bury means to put something in the ground and then cover it up with dirt. Casket or coffin, that means the big wooden box that a person is buried in. I think the word casket is a little bit more respectful. Um, so you would say, that's a beautiful casket uh, that your grandfather was buried in. And funeral. A funeral is the event that takes place usually a few days after a person has died. Uh, so that's where all the family gets together and they bury the person who has passed away. The funeral home. The funeral home is the building where the person has, or where the body is kept before, uh, before they're buried. So usually what happens is if a person dies uh, in a hospital, let's say, then the body is moved to the morgue, a morgue. That's, uh, that's the place where the body is kept right after death. And then usually it's moved from the morgue to the funeral home. And when it's at the funeral home, the staff who work there, they prepare the body for the burial. And the viewing. Viewing happens usually at the funeral home and it's where the casket is open and all the friends and relatives of the person can come and see the body for the last time before the burial. And cemetery. The cemetery is where they take the body for the funeral. That's where all the graves are and they put the body, they put the casket into the ground. Uh, so that's, that's the cemetery. The large area is called the cemetery. Now each one is called a grave. So you put the casket in the grave and then you cover it with dirt. And also there's usually a stone that's put on top of the grave that's called a tombstone. It has the person's name and when they were born, when they died, and maybe some other nice words. Okay, a hearse. A hearse is the vehicle that carries the body from the funeral home to the cemetery. It's usually a very nice, um, a very nice vehicle. So, cremation. Sometimes people don't want to be buried they want to be cremated. So if a person is cremated, that means their body is burned and their ashes uh, get saved. Sometimes people want to have the ashes of their loved one uh, in a nice container in their house, for example. Okay, so those are some ways we can talk about death, some words that you will hear all the time uh, when we're talking about death. Next, I want to teach you some terms that use the word death, but have nothing to do with death. But first, it's sponsor time. This lesson is brought to you by nobody.
Instead of watching me assassinate myself, you could be watching me promote your product or service. Here are some expressions that use the word death but have nothing to do with death. The first one is to love something or someone to death. That means you love it a lot. For example, women love chocolate to death. Or most men love beer to death. Uh, you could love anything to death. You could say, I love my grandma to death. Or I love my kids to death. Or I love my dog to death. All right, next one is bored to death. That means you're really, really bored. For example, if you're at an airport and your flight gets delayed, then you could just be sitting there for a few hours and you text your friend and you say, I'm bored to death. Okay, the next one is scared to death. That means you're very scared. Uh, for example, I could say, when I saw that spider, I was scared to death. Next one is, is to die of happiness. Uh, that means you're, you're really, really happy. I could say, when I saw my friend, I just about died of happiness. When my best friend came to visit me, I just about died of happiness. Also, to die of laughter. That means something is so funny that you almost die. I could say, watching that movie made me die of laughter. Okay, that's it for this lesson. If you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'm going to kill you by stuffing your head so full of idioms that your brain will explode. Thank you.